Hello everyone. We will now begin a lesson, divided into several sections, dedicated to the description of the web app created for the SOS Heritage project. The web app is part of work package number 4 of the project, co-financed by the European Union through the Creative Europe program. Objectives of work package number 4 and tasks description. SOS Heritage's work package number 4 was designed to guarantee an innovative and digital aspect to the project, continuing the analysis begun in work package 3 around the importance of new digital tools for better management of cultural heritage. The work package's main objective is to develop and test a web app to help cultural heritage professionals, such as collectors, museum operators and historical house managers, to handle their risk assessment procedures and to perform conservation strategies to preserve their collections. The platform is also built to support professionals in producing risk management plans for cultural heritage in an immediate and digital way. The web app was created through the delivery of different tasks, carried out thanks to the collaboration of the entire project consortium. As a prerequisite for developing the platform, the consortium has identified a responsive web application generation framework that allowed to simplify the development process. In fact, it was essential to identify a framework that would make the programming process extremely simple and at the same time allow for an intuitive and easy-to-use user interface. Once the framework has been delivered by the contractor, Mazzini Lab has presented the other partners with a detailed plan on how the PR production would have been handled, with a detailed roadmap with roles and responsibilities, tools and templates adopted for input and output of data. Mazzini Lab has then designed and developed the back end of the web app in order to organize data collection processes about classifying, estimating and managing risks to collections. After that, it has then designed the front end of the web app to be used by tangible cultural heritage owners, managers and operators, with a group of alpha testers, who have been involved during the transnational training course in Krems, Austria. This process ensured constant feedback and a user-centered approach. After this first alpha testing phase, the web app is now open to the public for the beta testing phase. During this phase, all the problems related to a high number of accesses and database management will be solved in order to deliver a final product. Thank you very much for your attention. See you in the next lesson.